Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here in this video. We are going to see a theorem on closed and open sets. A set E is open if and only if its complement is closed or let X D be a metric space E is subset of X then E is open if and only if E complement is closed. Okay, so let's see. We are given that order pair xt is a metric space and E is subset of x. So here we consider a set x, E is a set which is subset of x. So here we have to show that set E is open if and only if E complement is closed. That is, we have to show that the set E is open. What is E complement excluding this E? That is, X minus E is equals to E complement. Okay. So this is your E complement. And this is your set E. Okay. So now we will prove this in two cases. In case 1 we will assume that suppose E is open. Okay. And here we have to prove that E complement is closed using the condition that E is open. Let X naught belongs to E. Okay. Let X naught belongs to E. Since E is open. Since E is open. That is E is an open set. By the definition of open set. Every element of E is an interior point of E. So here we can say that, therefore, since X0 is an element of E or point of E, we can say X0 is an element of E, since we know that every element of E is an interior point of E since X0 belongs to E. So X0 is an interior point of E. So therefore X0 is an interior point of E. Okay. Now we are going to use interior point definition. So, there exists an R which belongs to open interval 0, comma infinity such that ball of X0, comma R is subset of E. Okay. Since this is a interior point definition. So, by definition, we will get this. So, consider a ball which is subset of E ball which is subset of E. Okay. If the ball exists inside the set E, then we can say that the ball does not belong to E complement. Okay. So, we can write it as ball of X naught comma R 
intersection E is equal to 5. Intersection E complement. Okay. Since the ball exists in set E. Okay. If this exists in E, it does not exist in E complement. Then the ball intersection E complement is equal to 5. That is the elements inside the ball and in the E complement is equal to 5. Okay. There exists no such elements which are common in this ball and E complement. So we have written this symbolically. Ball of X not comma R intersection E complement equals to 5. Since this is a point X not. Okay, this is a point X not. Since X not belongs to E. Since X not belongs to E, then if X not belongs to E, then X not does not belongs to E complement. Then X not does not belongs to E complement. So we can write. E complement as E complement equals to E complement does not contains X naught. Okay. Now we'll change this into ball of X naught comma R intersection. We replace E complement by E complement does not contains X naught which is equals to So, from this we can say that X0 is not a limit point of E complement. Therefore, X0 is not a limit point of E complement. If X0, if X0 is not a limit point of E complement, then we can say that E complement contains its limit points in its set. Okay, since X0 is not, this point is our X0, right? X0 is not a limit point of E complement. If X0 does not exist here, then it must exist in E complement set. Okay, so from this we can say that, therefore, E complement contains all its limit points. Okay. So, since every limit point of E complement is a member of E complement. That is, you can say that by the definition of closed set, E complement is closed. Okay, since E complement contains all its limit points, it is nothing but Every element of E complement is a member of E complement. So, which is the definition of closed set. So, therefore, E complement is closed. So, consider it as 1. Okay. That is. Therefore, E is open. If E is open, then E complement is closed. We have to prove this, right? So, next we will prove for E. Now, case 2. Let, suppose, 
E complement is closed. Okay. So now we have to prove that E is open. That is every element of E is an Interior point of E. So this is your X. And this is your E. And this is your E complement. So now let x naught belongs to E. Since we have to prove that every element of E is an interior point of E, I'm considering or assuming a point in E. Since E complement is closed, then E complement contains all its limit points. Since X naught belongs to E. So this is the point X naught which belongs to E. And E complement is closed which contains all its limit points. So, E complement contains all its limit points. X naught is in E and limit points of E complement exist in E complement itself. So, from this we can say that therefore X naught is not a limit point of E complement. Okay. So, there exists and R which belongs to 0, comma infinity such that ball of X naught comma R intersection E complement that does not contain X naught equals to 5. If you consider a ball with center X naught. Ball of X naught comma R intersection E complement other than X naught. So the common elements or common points of this ball and E complement other than X naught is 5. It is clear, right? So now since X naught belongs to E. Since X naught belongs to E, if X naught belongs to E, then X naught does not belong to E complement. Then X naught does not belong to E complement. So we can write E complement does not contain X naught as E complement. Okay. So now this becomes. Therefore, ball of X naught comma R intersection, you can replace E, e complement given X naught with E complement equals to 5. Okay. If the intersection of ball and E complement, there exists no common points in the ball and E complement which is equals to 5. Right. So, if these two sets have no common points, then we can say that the ball is subset of E. Then we can say that ball of X naught comma R is subset of E. Okay. Since it is nothing but the ball has no common points when compared with E complement. Okay. 
So the elements of ball is not containing in any E complement, then it may it will contain in E set E right. If it if the elements in ball if the elements in ball does not contain in E complement, if this ball does not contain in E complement, then it will contain in the set E. It contains in set E. Okay. Since ball of X naught comma R and E complement, the intersection of these two is pi. That is, there exists no such common elements. So, this will be equals to phi. Okay. Then it is clear that ball of X naught comma R is subset of E. So, by the definition of interior point, we can say that X naught is an Interior point of E. Okay. Since X naught is arbitrary element in E. And X naught is an and X naught is an interior point of E. So by the definition of open set, every element of E is an interior point of E. So therefore X naught is sorry. Therefore E is open. So this is 2. From 1 and 2 we say that E is open if and only if E complement is Closed. That is, when E is open, then E complement is closed. Or if E complement is closed, then E is open. The second case. Okay. Let's include the sentence here. By the definition of open set, right? Every element of E is an Interior point of E. Good. So this completes the proof. So we can say that E is open when E complement is closed. So this is a theorem based on open and closed set. So we have seen a theorem in this video. Hope you will understand. If you have any doubts, just leave your comments below. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.